Hey there, so I'm recording a quick clip to put at the front of this video because I felt like in the in the long video that I just recorded, I didn't give instructions that were very succinct. So if you don't want to watch the entire video, but you want to know the process of rooting Hoyas and Leka, I'm just going to give you the quick overview right here. So I take cuttings. I don't use rooting hormone. I stick them into the Leka. And then I have these short little reservoirs. When the cutting is new, I fill up to the top of this reservoir, as you can see by the water line that has made itself permanent in the plastic. Um, I just make sure that there's water constantly in the reservoir while the Hoya is rooting. And then I also, if it's available, if there's space on my heating mat, I will put the cuttings on the heating mat. And then as I can tell that the Hoyas are rooting, or if I see new growth coming through, I stop keeping water in the reservoir. I will let it dry out completely for at least a couple days, um, and then I will water it again. And when I'm watering it, as a normal established plant, I'm not really letting, I'm not keeping a lot of water in the reservoir. Like, I'm putting enough water in that I see water come out the bottom of the pot, and then that's it. And then probably every two weeks or once a month, I will just run water through the pot to get all the balls wet, all the roots, and to flush out the mineral deposits that are on the top, that white stuff, to flush that out. So yeah, keep the reservoir full while you're rooting. You don't you don't even have to do that. You could just make sure that the balls are still wet and not keep water in here. If you're nervous about rotting your cuttings, don't keep water in here. Just water it every couple days. Run water through the balls. Um, the key here is don't mess with it too much. Like, set it and forget it for the most part, if you can. Um, give it two weeks to look ugly. If the leaves are wrinkly, they'll be fine. They will rehydrate and they will be okay. Because um, the, the leaves are not gonna die if they get dehydrated. So just be patient. If it's gone two weeks and your leaves still look wrinkly, it's still fine. <laughs> I have rooted Hoyas, like I've taken cuttings and rooted them with wrinkly leaves and they still do just fine. They rehydrate, they look pretty. It'll be okay. So if you're nervous, just try not to think about it. Let the Hoya do its thing. And now I will let you watch the rest of the video where I talk about all of the different Hoyas. Hey everyone. I wanted to show you some Hoya plants that I have rooted in Lekka because I see a lot of people who are nervous on Instagram and YouTube, I'm getting lots of questions about plants being rooted in Lekka, specifically Hoyas. So I wanted to show you some of my Hoyas that I have either taken cuttings of or purchased cuttings and rooted them in Lekka. So all of these were rooted um, over the summer, so June or July through the fall. I kind of stopped taking cuttings by early November, but I'll start with this one. This is Hoya rigida. This was the first Hoya for, I want to call it like the mass Hoya transition in cuttings. Because I wasn't, I wasn't completely sold on putting all my Hoyas in Lekka until, until this plant. I had some in Lekka and they were doing fine, but when I noticed that this plant had spider mites, I was totally creeped out and felt like I needed to do something drastic to get this situation under control because I had a newborn over the summer and two older kids and no time to be messing with pests. So my solution to that was I basically took cuttings of the plant I got five cuttings out of it and then threw away the base and the roots in the pot and 
stuck it in this pot and it looked really really pathetic starting off with the five cuttings but now it's looking like a respectable plant because it has taken off in the last month it's got this oh where is it this long tendril coming out here and it's doing really good so look at that it's doing good so <laughs> sorry if i'm repetitive mom brain is tired one of the next plants that i caught up <laughs> and put into Lekka is this Hoya vitilinoids, if I am saying that correctly. And I believe I also put five cuttings into this pot. Hope I'm not smashing the leaves. Um, and I switched this one because I, I just didn't know how the roots were doing. Um, it was rooted, it was one stem rooted in sphagnum moss and then put into a really light mix and I was concerned about the roots. Uh, the plant was taking a little while to rehydrate after I would water it so that was my motivation for chopping up this one and it looks kind of silly like this with all of these big leaves stuffed and laying on top of each other but I think it will look better once these vines start getting some leaves on them and I'm, my goal basically is just to have like a huge impressive plant because these leaves are already impressive to begin with but yeah it's doing good all of these cuttings have growth on them now some of them have two vines coming up so this guy is a success story so far um, I ended up transitioning the base of this plant to Lekka just recently and I think I cut off most of the roots I probably left on like three or four little baby roots because the roots weren't good actually when I took it out of the pot um, I kept the base intact as insurance in case this didn't do well and then once this one looks solid then I transitioned the base into Lekka and it took two weeks of looking sad the leaves were all kind of shriveled and it was really hard to look at for a while but it transitioned fine, it grew some new roots, and then it rehydrated, and now it's pretty happy. Um, but I think the key when you're rooting any plant in anything is you just have to be patient. Give it time to do its thing. With Hoyas, time is on your side because the leaves are not going to die on you anytime soon. They, they can withstand a drought and they give you plenty of time to grow their roots. So don't worry about seeing wrinkly leaves when you're taking cuttings. They'll be fine. This is just regular old Hoya Carnosa, Crimson Queen, I think. Put several cuttings in there and it's doing well. I might gift that to someone. I'm starting to have too many plants. Okay, this is Hoya Loherii, and I got this cutting in the mail from Rick and Swiffer's Hoyas on Facebook. I think I bought it off of eBay when he was selling on eBay. So you should totally join that Facebook group if you're not in it already, because he lists some really unique Hoyas. And this guy is in a really small pot. It's doing fine so far, but I think I probably need to put it in a bigger pot soon. So yeah, that one is fine. It's really taken off with growth. I've heard that this plant can be fussy too, but it's doing just fine in this. And I should also say my growing conditions are, I'm in Northern Indiana. I have really big Northwest windows. So there's a ton of light in our living room where the Hoyas are, but there's not a lot of direct light in the winter time. So this is what we're working with. A lot of bright indirect light. The humidity over the winter was around 30%, so it's not high. And yeah, I think the bright light is what helps the most, actually. Here is a Hoya Compacta cutting. 
and this is typically known as a really slow grower but again my experience so far is that if it has enough light it will grow fast once it's established and whoa there's a ton of water in there so my four-year-old likes to water plants and sometimes she does it without me knowing which is a little scary but it's a little better when the plants are in hydrogen because I can just lift it out of the water and then it will dry out instead of soil you'd be concerned if it were sitting in all of that water so let me just check that out I, that to me is even too much water for it to just sit in maybe when it's rooting that's fine have that much water in the reservoir while it's rooting so that the balls stay moist and that the new roots have enough moisture to keep growing. But once it's established, I don't like to leave that much sitting in there. Too much, but I'm gonna put this back in for now. <laughs> Oof, it's like swimming right now. And then, ooh, this plant, this plant is impressive. <laughs> um, I got this from, let me see if I can remember the name of the shop. It's on Etsy, My Little Urban Jungle, I think. I'll have to check for sure. But the plant came super healthy. It was, I believe, one stem that had like branched off into two shoots, two stems. And so I basically took off the coconut husk that it came in and then took some cuttings of it and restarted the plant <laughs> the same day that I unboxed it. I restarted it into the LECA. And it has been loving life since then. And in general, when I'm rooting plants in LECA, I stick them in there. I make sure that there's water constantly in the reservoir. And I just leave it alone. I don't mess with it. Don't be checking for roots because then you're just going to break them off. <laughs> I mean, check the roots if you want to. They'll grow back. <laughs> break it off and then grow them back. It's fine. So that's what's nice about glass jars. When you're just starting out, put it in a clear container. That way you can be assured that your plants are doing okay. But I've gotten to the point that I don't need to be able to see the roots anymore. So I just root them in these nursery pots because it's cheaper. <laughs> when you have so many plants, you need a cheaper option. So yeah, that one's doing great see if there's any yeah there's roots coming out the bottom of there and yeah parasitica this definitely has the wrong tag in it I don't know how that happened but anyway it's Hoya carii <laughs> and this new leaf is humongous I don't know if the proportion is coming out well on the camera but it's it's so big that the plant is like tippy right now I'm gonna have to put it in something heavy, like a different pot to hold it up. But yeah, I didn't expect that leaf to come out so big. <laughs> Look at that. Um, yeah, okay, when I got this plant, it had a mealy bug on it, I think. So I kept it in isolation for a while in an area that didn't have as much light. And I took it out of its pot, it was in soil. And the roots were really terrible, actually. I don't know if it's because this plant has sensitive roots, but anyway, the roots were just basically crumbling in my hands. So I would pull on them gently, and then the outer sheath of the root would come off, and then, then there would just be like these little strings. So I basically had to scrap most of the roots. There were just some tiny little nubs of roots left. Stuck it into the hydrogen, and let it do its thing and it's completely fine now like solid in there I'm sorry if I'm going way too slow but maybe people would like to just look at the plants yeah I the one thing I'll say about um, keeping plants in LECA is that the Hoya leaves rarely get soft I think you could let them get soft, 
but now I feel confident in watering them more often so that they stay hydrated without getting super soft like I used to let them get. I used to be so afraid that I would overwater the, the soil and then the plant would rot and die that I would underwater them. But now, I'm not so worried about it, so the plants stay more hydrated. And I think that's translating into more consistent growth and faster growth. So, I almost lost this plant. This is Hoya Arnatiana. And it has some new growth coming in there. It, <laughs> that stem is growing up from way down there. I'm not sure how it made it up through there. And then you can see lots of little growth points in there. I think this plant also had spider mites, but I didn't specifically treat it. I've just been doing like monthly sprays of neem oil now. Since I can just rinse the plants and let the water run through and then I spray them with some neem oil. I think that it's fine now. I don't see any spider mites. Um, but I almost lost this plant because the leaves are starting to yellow from the center. And I think that I had let it get too dry. And then when I watered it, I, I think it was sitting too wet. So overall, it was just a mess. So I restarted it, and now it's doing pretty good. It's staying consistently hydrated. Now it's putting out growth. So I've had this plant for a while now, like a year and a half. It would be nice to see it do something <laughs> because I keep, I keep losing it as fast as it grows. So I think it will be fine now that I've got it in this, got this guy. This is Hoya Australis, and it's, oh, I don't think I have the tag. I have a bunch of tags sitting on my windowsill by my sink that I need to put back into the pots. But it's the version that has bigger leaves and grows faster, I think. So, anyway, it has three stems in the small pot here. And this seems to be a really fast grower. I restarted this over the summer because I found a mealy bug on it. And I have a thing with bugs. <laughs> I've relaxed a little bit now, but at the time I was just like, if I find a bug on you, you're losing your base and your roots and you're getting rerooted. Because <laughs> I can't take it. So they would get a really thorough bath and then they would go into the LECA. And so far that's working. I I wouldn't say, I keep mentioning that I find bugs and that I'm rerooting plants. I wouldn't say that I have like an issue with pests necessarily. I just find like one here or there and it seems to be after I get new plants. So I think that they just like hitch a ride and then I find them a week or two after the plant is sitting so, yeah. Not much to say about that one, except it's doing all right. I can't remember who I have talked about. Who, as if they're people. <laughs> um, this is one of the bonus cuttings that I got from Rick. Rick and Swiffer's Hoyas and it's just starting to put out leaves. There we go. Mm, yep. Yeah. Um, I kind of abused this cutting for a while because I have another pot of this plant. It's Hoya Geniev, I think. Anyway, this was in soil for a while and then my kids knocked it off of the shelf and it basically spilled out onto the floor and then I just like put the plant back on the shelf without its pot. So its roots were like hanging out in the wind and it probably sat there for a week. 
and then I got around to putting it into the LECA and it's done fine since then. It rehydrated and it's doing all right. So I guess that doesn't really count as a cutting, but um, yeah. <clears throat> and anyone new to LECA, if you're still watching this long video, <laughs> the white stuff on here is mineral buildup. It's not mold. And we flush the plants every two weeks or every month to get rid of that just to like flush it through the drainage holes and then it takes care of that it's not a big deal and it's normal so if you have that don't freak out and also that's why it's a lot easier to keep plants like this with drainage in the bottom or really low on the side because it's a pain to have to like cover the plant and then tip and pour the water out it's a lot easier just to to let the water run through the plant just hold it there if you have a bunch of plants it gets really tedious to do anything like that like trying to hold the leka in and then dump out water so yeah who's next lacanosa not much to say about that one except that i love taking cuttings of that plant because in a year from cuttings to it just takes a year after taking cuttings of it for it to be a really bushy little plant and it's really cute. It's fun to give away to people. And this one is Hoya Desayantha. It's similar to Carnosa except the veining is really pretty. It's much more prominent than Carnosa. It reminds me of Hoya fungi. I don't know if that's how you say it or not. I've got some water spots I should clean off of there. I think there are four cuttings in here and they all have growth now. I put these cuttings into the pot shortly after Hoya vitilinoids. So you can see that one has grown faster. This one is not a super fast grower for me. But we'll see how it does. And then I think this is the last one. This is Hoya Pachyclata or Pachyclata. I'm not quite sure. But it is putting out buds. It's happy as can be. I guess I would kind of call this one rooted as a cutting because when I went to transition this plant from its original media that it came in, I had to be really rough with the roots to get, um, I don't know what it's called, like some type of hairy coconut stuff that was wrapped around the stem to root it. It's really hard to get that off, so I ended up ripping off a lot of the roots. Um, and it did fine. Just stuck it in there. I think the biggest tr challenge was trying to keep the plant upright before it had any roots because it's just kind of top heavy. It's such a heavy plant. Um, but now, as you can see, it's definitely filled out its pot with roots. I shouldn't be messing with this if I want to see these flowers, huh? <laughs> but yeah, it was a healthy plant when I got it from Gardino Nursery. Um, they'd probably be horrified how I treat the plants when I get them, but they all do fine. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited to see this one flower. Overall, I would say these plants are growing pretty fast for wintertime growth, much faster than I've ever seen my Hoyas grow in soil. So yeah, there's three spots where buds are coming in. And I think that's all the plants that I have brought down. This guy's doing pretty good. I'm not sure what to do about that. If it keeps growing white leaves. 
do nothing and just let it look pretty, huh? There we are. Thanks for watching if you've gotten this far. I feel like I didn't explain a whole lot about how to actually root the cuttings in Lekka, but there's not, to me, there's not a whole lot to say about it, except just keep water in the reservoir while you're rooting it. And then once it's established, don't have a ton of water sitting in here. Maybe just put enough in until you see water spilling out the bottom and then stop. That's enough water. And then, yeah, water when you see that the leka is dry. That's how I'm doing it and it's working well right now. But I'll update in the future if that needs to change. Let me know what you think if you have any suggestions as well. I don't consider myself an expert in any form. Um, I'm just experimenting with the Hoyas that I have and I wanted to show you how that experiment's going. So I would love to see your videos or pictures of Hoyas in Lekka and how it's going. So let me know if you have a plant channel of some kind so that I can go check those out. All right, thanks for watching this and we'll talk again soon.